On the occasion of the October the 29th visit to the Vatican, the press agencies have spread the news that Joe Biden reported the content of the meeting and said that Francis called him, quote, a good Catholic, inviting him to continue to receive Holy Communion. It is disconcerting that, to date, no clarifying comment has come from the Vatican press office. This leaves us to presume that Joe Biden's words correspond to the truth and that Bergoglio actually spoke them, even if what Biden said corresponds perfectly to the intemperate quips of Jorge Bergoglio, who called a notorious radical abortion activist a great Italian. It is evident that such statements represent an unheard of scandal, since they fail to condemn the positions of a political personality who supports abortion, disavow the immutable position of the magisterium of the church, and resound as a blatant invitation to commit sacrilege profaning the Most Holy Eucharist by receiving it in the state of public and manifest sin. Every Catholic knows that the killing of a defenseless creature in the mother's womb is a horrendous crime, and that the most serious scandal is given to the faithful, not only by Joe Biden, as a convinced supporter of abortion, but also by Bergoglio himself, who is recognized as holding the authority of the Supreme Pastor of the Church. His work of demolition knows no respite, before the astonished silence of the cardinals and bishops. The very rare exception of pastors who truly have at heart the souls entrusted to them. The example of His Eminence, Cardinal Raymond Burke, stands out amongst others. They are seen with hostility by the majority of their brother bishops and by the Vatican in a disturbing subversion of the mission of the Church of Christ, which today has been reduced to climate change, inclusive capitalism, and Bergoglio was recently recognized as a moral guide by the Council for Inclusive Capitalism, led by Lynn Forrester de Rothschild, and he appointed Jeffrey David Sachs as a member of the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. Sachs is president of the Sustainable Development Solutions Network of the United Nations, a supporter of reducing the global population and of the fight against climate change. This has nothing to do with the mission of the papacy and ought to lead the prelates of the church to seriously ask themselves about Bergoglio's mental and moral suitability for the role that he holds. I exhort the faithful on the feast instituted by Pope Pius XI in honor of the social kingship of our Lord Jesus Christ to beseech the divine majesty asking that among the many societies afflicted by the present crisis, the Church of Christ may be the first in which Jesus Christ who today has been replaced by the idols of globalist ideology, returns to reign. Signed, Carlo Maria Vigano, Archbishop.